Hi everyone, Lisa J here with a special Singles Warehouse edition of Enjoy Every Day with Lisa J. I have a very funny story to share with you all. You just have to bear with me here because it is funny. Fun knee period in between the consonants. That means it's funny. 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 <laughs> I just had to share a very funny story that happened to me today. I have been clamoring away and busy, busy, busy in front of my big screen. And I've talked about the big screen. I'll provide you guys some links to some of those videos, but it can cause a problem in my dating life because I get immersed in this world of the big screen, my iMac is a 27 inch. You know, I always say my other boyfriend is, has 27 inches. And that's because <laughs> I'm constantly sucked in to this big screen experience and all the oohs and ahs and the colors and all of that. Anything, you know, online, videos, editing, writing, I've got my book, I've got my vlogs, I've got my blog, I've got, you know, clients, my PR clients, all kinds of stuff going on and it's all behind the big screen. So I'm sitting here working, it's a Monday and all this kind of stuff is going on. It's pretty publicly known out there that I've had some surgeries related to uh, the BRCA or the BRCA2 genetic mutation for breast and ovarian cancer. Blah, blah, blah. I'll just put that all out there right now. It's a big fucking long thing to say. Clusterfuck. By the time you see this, it will already be over and I will be a drool monkey on my couch being fed fluids through a straw trying to recover. So all of this is going on and on top of that, the man in my life, my boyfriend, is going to be gone during my surgery because he's a working actor and he's working this week in Hawaii okay so he's gonna be on Hawaii 5 -0. so I'm busy I'm a publicist I'm working I'm writing I'm I'm vlogging for you guys I've got a lot going on okay and I'm working behind the big screen I've got my little clickety clack going with my fingers on the keyboard and he's walking back and forth packing and getting ready he's got car service coming to pick him up and he said something and I went Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, that's funny, honey. Because I'm behind my other boyfriend, the 27-incher. He laughed because I didn't notice. And he said something that was so funny. He goes, how was your trip? How was Hawaii? Did you go yet? Like, as if I didn't even know he was gone. So there was this big joke going on, and I said, oh, I didn't have my boobies done yet, so you must not have gone yet. <laughs> So we decided that we would institute the booby calendar, kind of like AD and BC and that kind of with the dividing of the two eras. Everything in my life, this week at least, is going to be defined as either before the booby era, these boobies, and after the booby era. Because you see, when they do the fat grafting, they're also gonna change the implants. So it's gonna to be totally different boobies. So these boobies will be gone this week. So right now I'm before the booby era. Later this week it'll be after the booby era. All that to bring back the serious point here and that is step away from the computer people. I've said this also in my blogs and my vlogs and I'm gonna provide links. The one about the big screen and the one where I tell people to step away from the computer. I'm going to provide those so it'll help shed light on why it's important because you need to pay attention to people that actually care about you because those people on Facebook that are posting the pictures of the cute little puppies and the kittens and the farm goats and you know whatever they don't care that you're gonna go and get your boobs taken out and fat put in and stuff <laughs> it's your boyfriend who cares and your loved ones and people like that. So take the time to step away from the computer after you've watched this fun video. Let's get our priorities straight. That's it. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you in a couple of weeks on Singles Warehouse. And I'll see you next time here on my 
vlog. Bye. I do know when he's going, I promise. I do try and listen. You have to get fat grafting done later. You don't have to. You could have your your boobs looking like shriveled grapes or, or eggplants or something like that if you want. That might be really nice looking in New Guinea or something. He'll be sipping Mai Tais on the beach, which is fine. I'm really happy for him. He deserves this really great Hawaiian vacation.